Good morning, folks. Focus for tropical development potential remains around the north of Australia, where it's been all of 2014. Going to stay there a while. Currently, the focus is on the low that drenched the north last week. It's getting water stolen by a southern low between Australia and New Zealand now. Still going to get some rain in the north, but the bulk is heading east. Latest U.S. drought look here. California, wildfire danger. No real end in sight. The lows in this part of the world are regulating nicely, including that same one napping out in the Pacific, driving air north and causing Alaska to be hotter than the rest of us right now. There could easily be snow and ice in the Gulf states today. Let's check out Europe. That northern low and a matching high just south of it in the Atlantic are reinforcing at their convergence and screaming air towards the UK now. It's one of the strongest lower cloud level pushes I can find on Earth at the moment. Gloves are back off for this. It's climate.gov's attempt to explain why global warming scientists got stuck in the ice down in Antarctica, along with everyone who tried to rescue them. They're in full-scale defense mode. This website was indeed the inspiration for my climate series, with a lie in the middle. Climate number one took apart this website and how the temperatures on Earth go up and down and how they've picked very convenient time frames for their argument. If they gave you the CO2 data back that far, you'd know they were lying. And we've since got official word from the AGU panel that total solar irradiance, even just UV, has indeed dropped 20%. So that's another lie here, and one that doesn't even include all forms of solar energy. Sorry, Guberman, we pay attention over here. Would you believe I got a third star water related article in as many days? Apparently, Rover found some rocks that change our thinking about early Mars and how darn excellently it was set up for life. Top recommendation today is out of Goddard's Scientific Visualization Studio. They start at low orbit and zoom all the way out, showing the entire orbiting satellite fleet. We were supposed to see a CME, but it's either missed or was too weak to notice. Speed dropping in the solar wind and the KP is going along with it. Smoother calm returning to the electron flux and sensitive magnetometer. No solar flaring to speak of. Departing northern group remains spread all night, but the development trailing the large central umbras does have a 50-50 shot of magnetic mixing today. We'll watch that. Primary eruption threat, however, is filamentary, none more so than the large one's center disk. Coronal fields are open on the north. Small southernmost opening faces us today. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.